So Matt and I have been building gaming PCs for a long time now, and I think we're starting to get a little slow. We've even heard corporate wants to replace us, so introducing the new candidates. Hello! Hi. <laughs> These are Toasty Rose team members that are gonna be building a gaming PC to showcase the new IQ Link that Corsair was nice enough to sponsor this video, and they sent a bunch of IQ Link products so they could see if they can build faster than us versus the traditional IQ uh, RGB ecosystem. So big shout out again to Corsair for sponsoring this video. We're gonna learn more about IQ Link, how it works, and how easy it is for first time builders to get into PCs and uh, not get confused by RGB. So let's not waste any more time and go over the parts for each build and then dive into building. So for the CPU, we have the i5-13600KF 14-core 20 thread, and these builds are going to be the exact same, by the way, minus the IQ components. That's where it'll differ. For the motherboard, we have the MSI Pro Z790A Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard, full ATX. It's going to look really good inside of this case. For RAM, we have some Corsair Vengeance RGB. This is DDR5, 32 gig, 6,000 megahertz. It's going to look good, and it's going to sync up with all of our old and new IQ software. Now for SSD, just keeping all the Corsair, we got the Corsair MP600 Pro LPX 2 terabyte Gen 4. Look at those read and write speeds, that's insane. Hi, I'm over here guys, and I have the graphics card. This is the Galax RTX 4070 Ti. We thought the 4070 Ti would make a great pairing with the i5-13600KF, and uh, yeah, it's the Galax variant that we have not used before, but I think it'll look really nice in this PC build. And the power supply, which is, again, a little bit overkill. You don't necessarily need a thousand watts, but Corsair was nice enough to send this over. The RM 1000X power supply, which has, well, fully modular cables. It is 80 plus gold, and it's a high quality power supply from Corsair, so it's gonna do the job for this build. And for the case that all this RGB stuff is gonna go into, the 5000D Airflow, a case we built in many times, and it's gonna fit a ton of fans. So we'll be able to really test that IQ link system versus the normal IQ system. Now, the way this is gonna go is our team members are gonna start building the IQ link system, and we will time them to see what kind of difference there is between using this new system versus the older system. System. Keep in mind, Jackson and I have a ton of PC building experience, including a lot of Corsair builds, so there is a chance that we will still be faster. But we want to see if for the average to beginner PC builder, will IQ Link speed things up and make cable management easier? Also future note, when organizing the builds, we accidentally gave ourselves the Corsair Shift power supply, which was supposed to be for our team members in the IQ Link build. This would have made their build even faster and cleaner because of the simplicity of the cable management. So do keep that in mind when watching. Now let's get into their build. Three, right. two, one, start. How are you feeling, Johnny? You seem strong right pretty now. good. Like you're going fast. I, I've done this a couple times, you know? Yeah, just wait. That'll go away. That'll go away. <laughs> that confidence will fall. I already right forgot which, uh, which, which channel to put it in. Look at this little beefy boy. Yeah, that's... cover on and everything. Uh, so what do you have? You have the 24 pin, right? I think oh. this is 24 pin. <laughs> I don't know if I did this right. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, you weren't even supposed to take that out. That's actually toolless. <laughs> okay. Yes. I love tentacles. Do you think I can swing it by the, the wires? Where's the black LTT it's screwdriver like so I can lose it again? Jonah has it. SSD installed, RAM installed. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Now, if I was stupid, which one would I use for the power supply? He's doing it, Mom. He's doing it. Isn't this cool? Hard they got like a little Corso-like design on the bottom. And you know what the best part about their thermal paste? It's cotton candy flavored. Go ahead, give it a taste. How's this part feeling? It's not too bad. I don't know. If, I think I don't think I should take that off yet. It's, it's. Oh yeah, you want to get like the satisfying peel? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right now? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Why did I do this? This is. He's sabotaging me. He's cutting into my time. <laughs> we got the screws in. Now we have to get this onto here somehow. The room on this side is uh, not large. This is uh, this is everything for the motherboard. Nice. Yeah, motherboard and uh, cooler. Looks good. Okay. Such a premium box. I know, right? Like, look at this. It's perfectly. Oh, it, it's got that like. That, like that quality box feel. Can a boy get an LTT screwdriver, please? It's behind you. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Move everything out of the way. We, we bring the table up, put it, put it on the side, and then we just drop her in. <laughs> okay, this is too tall now. <laughs> we need to move this top. Can you hold that? Just keep holding it. Actually, don't. Where am I? Where are my, my standoffs? We're live. We're on. We're in. We don't have any motherboard screws ready, and we also don't have those screws ready. So we also need the CPU power fed through, apparently. That thing is on there. I can't see anything down here, man. <laughs> all right, so where are we at with the build right now? All right, so we have everything done build-wise. All we have to do is plug in the graphics card and then hook everything up that's related to the IQ. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that now. All right, so for the nine fans we have up front from the three in the back, the three in the front, and then three from the radiator, it all connects to this one plug right here. And I believe this goes on the side right here. And then we have a little CPU fan plug right here. I'm not, I'm not no cable manager, but we can, we can figure this out. Pastel, Yay! woo! 
it. All right. So McAllister will know the exact number and he'll put it on screen right here as the ending time. And then Jackson and I, well, definitely not today because this took a little bit. We'll be building a, another PC to compare. All right, guys, it's our turn. We're gonna start building the PC and see how the normal IQ setup works versus IQ Link. Our time starts now. And obviously, you know, we're just pro PC builders. I mean, look at us. It would, it would be funny if our PC just didn't work though, wouldn't it? Or if it took us twice as long. If it took that. twice as long, it would um, kind of prove the point. We did have a lot of confidence going into this. Now we have to prove a point to these little fellas. Now we're messing with the fans, you know? The best part. We mess with the fans a lot. Three up front, three there. It's gonna take a while for me to get this, at least fans in. Amen, brother. I'm kind of putting it up in the wrong way. I know, I almost put it in backwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep in mind, this guy's a professional, guys. For those at home that don't know, this is the difference between the fans, by the way. They come with a bunch of cables. Like yeah, each, each fan has two cables coming off of it. And how many fans do you guys have? 10. <laughs> That's 20 cables! Whoa! 1700 LGA. Matt's got one fan in so far. I'm killing it. Yeah, this is definitely gonna, I think the fans are gonna definitely be the bottleneck of this. Which, that's the new, the, the nice part about these new fans. You guys saved a lot of time basically only having to do one, two, three. Matt has to do 10. <laughs> All right, I got my front fans in. Are we good to pause? Let's stop the time. And we're going, we're back. All right, so um, I know Matt, so you're at three fans right now. Three fans in. Three fans. I'm um, trying to figure out the cable management. That's probably the worst part about this. He has to somehow run those fans cables over top of the other fan cables, or I should say behind them without, you know, having the cables just everywhere. It's always the fun part too, trying to remember the right direction to mount these freaking things. No, I have, I have done this backwards many, many times. You're crazy. I mean, you're not even like tightening them down. Like you're just like- Buddy, it's, it's rubber. Like they don't need to be that tight. He said, buddy, You're trying to run the cables properly. There's like a little cutouts that you have to use before you screw. All right, I think I got all the cables plugged in that um, we should need. Some could say Still Matt is on only fans. fans. I'll go ahead and get this back fan out. No, no one asked. This knockoff Matt from the toaster bro is actually talking to me. You should be offended by that, to be honest. I feel like Jonah was about to say Seth something Rogen offensive. Seth Rogen 2.0. I'm not using the right bit, but it's okay because you just push down really hard. Unlike somebody. Unlike some people. He's not here to defend himself anymore. I do like how this one looks, but we have this. And that other one has no connectors coming off of it besides the tubes. So with this, we're gonna still plug in the CPU header. And then, um, you know, we've been doing this for so long. We've gotten pretty good at kind of figuring out little kind of shortcuts on hiding things. So like, I'm gonna do this to kind of make it a little cleaner. But obviously a lot of people, they just have that run straight across the build and it kind of takes away from the aesthetics of it. I'm gonna have to like do that and try to like zip time to the side if that works, we'll see. Of course Rep knew what he was doing when he gave us all these fans. He knew it would make this part harder. So we're ready to drop in the motherboard and power supply and we're at 22 minutes. Which again, as we mentioned, these guys don't have as much experience as we are with PC building. We build a lot of computers. We build every single morning. If you go watch our Twitch streams, you can see those. But um, the idea is, does IQ Link make it easier in terms of like getting as close to our time with this system that we've built thousands of times? So far, it seems like it does. Because once you get everything set out properly, you plug it in, it takes like three minutes. So yeah. if, if they were to do this build and um, they were to do the, their build, I think, yes, the other build would be a lot quicker. The same way if Matt and I had done this ourselves and then the other build, we would have seen the time difference. <laughs> I think it definitely would have saved us a lot of time. Oh! <laughs> Serving it up Gary's way. Motherboard screws in. Other screws are in. All, this, all the other the plugs mother are in. The mother screws. Plugs are in. We got this luxury that you guys didn't have. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. So we got we got two terminals here. We got two. Yeah, so six for fans, six for the IQ, but obviously, we have more than six, so we're also having to use what is included in the case, which you guys have, but you didn't have to use. Is it, are we having a repeat I'm, I'm, again? I'm, I'm missing one fan connector. Oh, you're missing a connector? Yeah, one fan. I think I see it. All right, yeah, now once it. they're plugged up, let me know, because I got to see if I can even cable manage those cables, because they're like in the in the fans <laughs> right now. But I'm going to go ahead and cable manage. Oh, you're going to cable manage? I'm that confident. Yeah, you have to, that counts, that has to count as the time, you know? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh. Dude, I was like, that took way too long. Let's go. Wait. Yes. Woo. Let's go. It all works. 40 minutes. We're the pros. But IQ Link, by the way, did you see the mess? Joe's going to have some B-roll on screen of like the cables on this versus the cables on that. 
For a new builder, it's an absolute disaster, but obviously you've used um, Corsair IQ a lot, and when IQ Link becomes like the mainstream option, we'll use that a lot as well and get very fast with it, but it's a process to get this working, especially if you haven't done it before. I will say one thing too is, I, you know, I know Corsair, they want us to kind of show their new product and everything, but I want to be honest, I love both of them. Like, this just looks so good. We've always liked Corsair. There's a reason why we're so good at building with even old IQ stuff, and that's just because we've done it so many times. It just all works really well together. The fact that you can sync all of this stuff up with one software, it's just really nice, really convenient. So yeah, well, let's get this mess cleaned up, get both builds on the table, and then we'll just talk about IQ Link one more time. Well guys, that was a lot of PC building, but I am really happy with how both of these turned out. So what was your all's thoughts on using the new IQ Link? So while I was watching them build their computer, seeing how many cables they had to route and manage and set up, it seemed way more difficult than what we had to do with just a few cables to put everything together. Also the fact that our fans connected together just made it way easier. Even the radiator fans came pre-installed. So just overall the fan and assembly and like the whole setup of everything is just way more convenient and just easy to set up. It was super convenient that we only needed two hubs to control all of this RGB and three connectors total. Well, with the traditional Corsair IQ setup, we had to use two hubs with 20 connectors, making it a cable management mess. But overall, the IQ Link system is really nice for first time builders and the extra control you get via IQ software with IQ Link versus traditional IQ is awesome with the ability to see temps from each individual fan because each fan has its own temperature sensor and the ability to reorder each fan to use cool RGB effects, making this system not only easier to build with, but easier to control via IQ software. And as they expand to all their different products that they sell, it'll make for a really good option for PC builders builders who don't want a cable nightmare to have really clean cable management while also keeping it very easy, but we do still enjoy this system. Corsair in general has really good options for RGB, so definitely check those links down below if you want to build either this PC or this PC. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this Corsair build-off we did. Do you like this kind of videos? Comment down below. A big shout out again to Corsair for sponsoring this video. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So if you guys did know, we also have Instagram, we have X, we have TikTok, we have Facebook. We have so many different social medias. And we post a lot of different stuff, and these guys post a lot of stuff as well. So definitely check those links in the description down below. See you guys later. Goodbye.